And you did score a win over Triple H during your time there. <laughs> that was a DQ thing, though, and, 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 and but uh, sounds like similar to Duke the Dunkster's experience. He got a, a DQ win over Triple H too. And he was screwed after that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, you know what? He was always. And he good. was dropping to T.R. Hopper a few weeks later. <laughs> yeah. 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 And uh, why would you put Dirty White Boy as T.R. Hopper? He was Dirty White Boy, you know. Great worker. But uh, um, anyway, um, um, God, go back to that. What was it? Uh, the Triple H win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Hunter, he was always good to me. I mean, I can say that. Uh, um, um, you know, I, I worked with him. I worked with him at Madison Square Garden, a house show match. And uh, uh, we were going to have a good competitive match, and then they put us on after intermission because and then before intermission was Sid and Vader, you know. And they had Austin interfere to cause Sid to get beat by Vader because Austin was coming back in the Survivor Series in the Garden with Brett. Yeah. You know? And that, and then so they put us on after intermission, and they wanted Hunter, and they had Hunter take a choke slam from the apron to was Sid, you know, into the ring, and then they wanted Hunter looking strong, and they started we started back push Hunter strong again. But I worked with him in the Garden, I worked with him in the Superstars taping, I worked with him on that Raw, and did, and he was real busy all night, and they were giving him back to push. He was getting ready in '96, in '90, yeah. Following year, he won the King of Rings when he started getting back push good, but they were starting to push him again. He had a lot going on that night, four tapes, and whatever we had laid out and did, I said, I'll just call it out there, okay? I said, I know you're real busy, he's got all these interviews. He was doing something with Kurt Henning on that, that match right there, where Kurt come out with his girls or something, or, or took his girls and he got all that do and that, and because uh, he was supposed to pedigree me some way, and uh, I don't know, it was a DQ, but uh, I think it rubbed a lot of guys wrong, but it wasn't my finish. I had nothing to do with it. I was just doing what they told me. But I, anyway, uh, I just said, I'll call it out there. And I called out there. He goes, hey, thank you. You're a hell of a worker. He said, thank you. I had so much going on. He said, I'm not dissing what that do, but thanks for being you know, out there. Because he had a lot going on. Four, four tapes, four raw tapes. Yeah. Yeah.